suspension A, where would we be without it? But what goes into suspension? What's in these fork legs? What's in the rear? Well, come with me and I'll show you. Okay, but before we get into the nitty gritty of actually doing adjustments, let's talk about some basic principles. So if you already know it, excuse me, it won't take long. See this, I've knocked this up just to show, I've got a bolt there with a spring on it. If that was your basic suspension with absolutely no damping whatsoever, this is what would happen. You'd have suspension, but you'd bounce up and down. Wouldn't be very clever. Terrible for handling as well. What you need to do is hydraulically damp that. And by damp, we don't mean using water, we're gonna use oil. Oil gives you lubrication of parts and it's got a, a certain viscosity to it, which is far better than using water. Forks would go rusty anyway. With this oil pump here, I've put a spring around the handle there and see that, that just bounces up and down just like that one did. But if we draw up some oil in this, this is ordinary engine oil, but it just shows the principle. There we go. Then I put my finger over the end to give it some control. When you push down, see the way that changes? Stiffer to put down and also slower to come back. That's your damping. But that's, let's put that out. That's all very well. What do we mean in the real world? Here we have a fork leg. This one, quite sophisticated because you've got your adjustments actually for your compression damping down the bottom and your rebound damping at the top. On this one, I've actually slackened both screws well off. So that one's off there and the top one is. Now if I push that down, just like that little demo, see how easy it goes down and it also flies back. If I now clink this up, and it's got little clickers on there, you can probably hear those going around. It's important to count the clicks when you are messing around with that, but I'm going to bang that one right in. Uh, look at that, you can even hear the table creaking, that's really stiffened that up. So that's your compression damping. Rebound, we go to this top part here, little screw on the top there, you've all seen this. Again, you can hear the little clicks, count the clicks, so I'm going to wind that one right down, so that's maximum. You see what happens here. See how slow that is to come back? So that's your rebound damping. The last bit that you hear about is preload. Now preload just refers to the spring alone. So in there, there's a big spring, just like this one on here. And what you're doing is actually preloading it, putting some tension in it before you start. And so you use this part at the top here, this upper bit, clamp that down and you actually compress the spring and preload it before you even hit a bump. 